Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Star Soccer 5, yeah! Last episode, people had complained that, you know, it's too easy, play on hardest difficulty, so I did. I didn't get too many likes though, so I guess that that means that, yeah, you, you think like I do, most of you, it doesn't really matter, um, yeah. Or maybe some of you think like Metallica that nothing else matters. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, I play and nothing special happened. Um, but yeah, we're going to, to move on today and play some more games basically and talk about all kinds of stuff basically. Yeah, we can start off by talking basically about uh, the World Cup in football because there are some interesting things going on. The last games are being played this evening. As I'm recording, or not the last games, but I mean the last round is beginning this evening uh, with Brazil's group and, and Holland's group and all that. Um, so, yeah, they will decide tonight which teams will qualify or not to the actual, what we call it, knockout stages, basically. Yeah, um, so I'm, I'm basically looking forward to that. Hopefully. Oh, come on, why? What? That ball just bounced on me. That's weird. Yeah. Um, but it will be interesting. First of all, in Brazil versus Cameroon, we will have a Swedish referee. So I take a little bit extra pride in that. <laughs> As a Swede, you know? Yeah, you should know. Um, basically, Jonas Eriksson, he did, let's see, referee USA versus Ghana earlier on. So he, yeah, and he did that well as well. So yeah hopefully he will do great again and then he will be able to play the final or something or not play but referee <laughs> I don't know maybe maybe it's impossible who knows and um, it's not impossible though because Sweden is not in the tournament and you know it would be kind of weird if they took a referee from you know Brazil if Brazil is in the final for example um, but yeah what to say what to say many exciting games tonight the most exciting one will probably be not in Brazil's group. Let's see, in the other group you have... No, the, the other group is even less exciting because... Yeah, oh, oh, tonight it's fucking Croatia versus Mexico, isn't it? That'll be a very, very exciting game because both of those teams have the chance to, to, to qualify still. But I think Croatia need to win and Mexico needs a draw basically um, so that'll be exciting and I mean I think personally that Croatia is probably better than Mexico yeah! oh that sounded really really weird god damn I need to drink some some coffee yeah sound like a goddamn dinosaur or something I'm sorry <laughs> yeah I just woke up I'm recording this as I woke up I'm drinking my morning coffee even though it's 2 in the afternoon yeah <laughs> I'm sorry yeah, but um, still, Croatia will most likely, or not most likely, but I, I think that they will be able to beat Mexico because they have looked, you know, tougher so far. They, they've looked more into it, basically. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll see what happens. And except for that, Spain is out. Big surprise. Oof. Um, let's see, England is out. Not a big surprise. I'm sorry if you're English and watching this, but England. <laughs> I don't want to upset you, but it's it's like the same same thing every goddamn year. This year will go so good compared to the early years. You said like that for for the last forty years, but nothing has happened. Um, yeah. But let's see, or was it '68? I think you won '68 or something like that. But after that, you haven't really been too good. Because, yeah, sometimes it's bad luck. I mean, you had Svenis, you still didn't win. That's bad luck. But now Roy Hodgson, he's not a good trainer. I mean, he's okay, but he's not good. He's not great. And except for him... Oh, that's a rough tackle. Except for him, I mean, look at your defenders. They're not good. They aren't. They really aren't. And I mean, your, your attackers... Sure, you have Rooney. He's okay. Wellbeck, he's not too good. Then in the midfield you have you have some old dudes who were good, but they're not good anymore. And you don't really have any young players who who, who you know who, who's coming to take their place. It's probably Luke Shaw or someone, but I mean right now you, you don't have a good team. It's it's as simple as it gets. 
And it's, it's the same with Sweden. I mean, we have Slatan, but except for him, we don't have a good team. Because of that, we didn't go to the World Cup. It's the same with Portugal, except for Ronaldo. They don't have a really good team. I mean, they're okay, but not much more. And yeah, if, if, if you don't have a team which is much better than okay, then then things aren't going too well, basically. Yeah! Sounded weird again. I'm sorry. Yeah, and the same thing with Portugal. They were, you know, close to, to get knocked out by USA yesterday. And USA, they have a good team. And they have a goal, most of all. I mean, yeah. They have the confidence to, to, to go go far. Not too far, but quite far. Yeah. Um, so, it's, it's as easy as it gets. I mean, you're not as good as you think. Englishmen? <laughs> the Swedes, the Swedes we, we are not as good as we think either. But, I mean, we don't really think that anymore. We just think that Slatan will save us. Yeah, you know, like that song. So they say that a hero can save us. I don't know who made it. I don't know how it goes, but it was for a Spider Man movie, I think. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, we are not as good as we think, basically. And that's the way it is. I mean, deal with it. Yeah. Want to dislike this video because I talk shit about England? It's okay, yeah. But I mean, Sweden, when we were. Um, when we were, you know, beating our group in, in 2002 and 2006, we had, you know, Henrik Larsson, uh, Fredrik Jungberg. Oh, come on! This is not fair! Yes, repair it! Fuck. <laughs> yeah, but we had, you know, Olof Melberg, Henrik Larsson, Jungberg. Uh, fucking Tobias Linderoot in the midfield, you probably don't know much about him, but he was a good defensive midfielder. Um, you had, you know, except for him, we, we had, let's see, there we go. Yeah, we had good players, basically. Uh, Ted Lukic, mm. Andreas Isaksson were great as well. And yeah, we, we had a good team, good enough to, to, actually, to actually beat the group stage. So, that's, that's the way it is, and then we had, you know, Chippen Wilhelmsson, I don't know if you know too much about him, but he was really really good as well when he was on on you know on the top of his career. So that's the way. And in 1994, I mean we had a decent team there as well. We had Ravelli, Dalin, Brulin, um, got them all of them, a young Henrik Larsson. We had a lot of great players back then as well, so and we ended up third in that tournament in the World Cup, so yeah, we were pleased. Mm. But, I mean, yeah, you, you need to, to get better players again, basically, if you want to go far. You need to get, like, two Beckhams, you need to get a new Rooney, you need to hope that Luke Shaw makes, you know, progress in his career and all that stuff. Because um, right now, it's just not good. It's not. No, oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah. I mean, you <laughs> basically, you need to, to, to get the players like Belgium. And they, they haven't been too good this tournament, but they have the talent. And I mean, if they if they want to perform good this tournament, in four years they will, most likely. Because they have a lot of good players. And that's how you go far, you have good players and you, you get a good goal, basically. I mean, Belgium, they won both their games so far, but they haven't really impressed. But still, you can see that sometimes... They, just, they do it, basically, <laughs> and they end up scoring a goal because of it. So, yeah, let's play the next game. Um, yeah, Belgium, they can go far, and Holland as well, I mean, they, they, they got it. They got it. They got the players, basically. Schneider, Robin, all of those guys. I don't know too many of them today, though, but especially Belgium. Yeah, in four years, in Russia, four years, I promise you, they'll go goddamn far. Yes, they will. Telling you, kid. Yeah, my throat is really, really weird today. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I can't do the yeah sounds. <laughs> That's a problem. Oh, it's not a problem. I guess not, but still. Um. So, except for that, what's going on in your life? I've been watching the original Planet of the Apes movies from the 70s, and you know, the first one is from 68, but the second and third one is from 70, 71, and then you have. Two more, you have five movies in total. <coughs> and I like them. It's kind of weird. The first movie, I mean, that's a good movie, sure. And you got 
Charlton Heston in the main role. He's not a great, you know, actor, but you know, in the 60s, yeah, it was more important to have someone who looked good and you know were famous rather than who were a good actor, to be honest. Um, but he did it right, and you know, it was a good movie. And yeah, then the, the second movie was really, really odd because they they kind of yeah they kind of lost a lot of budget, so they couldn't use Charlton Heston as much. Basically, Fox uh, <laughs> had some some mishaps with other movies, so they didn't really have as much money anymore. So they basically cut the budget for the sequel in half, and they had to to do the best they could with it. <coughs> and they did all right, but it was kind of a weird movie. And the third movie, everything went bonkers. It was well, what was it called? Escape from the Planet of the Apes. I think the third one was called. The second one was called Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Um, so the third one basically. In that movie, I don't know if you know the the plot, but basically in the first movie, yeah, oh, I ca I should really not do those sounds today. <laughs> in the first movie, um, a space crew basically, yeah, they basically um, travel really really fast in space, so that time on the spaceship goes really really slow compared with time on Earth. So when they return to Earth. For them, it's been like two or three years, but on Earth, it's been like um, 1800 years or something like that. Um, so yeah, basically, when they come back, man has you know killed each other, or the monkeys has revolted, and yeah, they have taken control over Earth basically. Uh, so the monkeys are in control, yeah, and they just play their songs all day long, and then there's a her face do 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 do. Now I'm a believer. That's the monkeys, I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, but the apes are in control. If you say monkey to them, they get offended because it's a bad word. It's like saying the n-word to 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 someone. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> the same. But now it's the m-word instead. Yeah. Um. But they are in control basically. And when they return, I mean humans can't talk, but monkeys can. And then they find out that Charlton Heston can talk. It's like, damn, is that Charlton Heston? No, they, they don't say that. They don't know who Charlton Heston is, but yeah, they found out that he can talk and things get bad and worse and they need to flee and they need to basically, I don't know what, need to find out about the truth and all that. And so yeah, that's basically what happens. And in the third movie, in the second movie, um, the planet gets destroyed. Earth gets destroyed, yes, by a nuclear weapon. There are some superhumans left. They kind of they communicate via telekinesis or something like that. But when they need to, <laughs> you know, they say that we we only speak with our mouths when it's really really needed because that's a really really basic way to communicate, and we don't really like using it. Yeah. So in the beginning, they all use telekinesis, but in the end, they all start talking because no one would understand the plot if they didn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it really really weird so you know even when they were talking to each other basically uh, with no silly humans nearby they yeah <laughs> they they start talking normally even though <coughs> they said that it was a silly way to communicate that they you know should only use telekinesis really but yeah ultimately they they all end up talking normally anyway because that's how movies work yeah the the you know the script writers they don't always think about that stuff and um, yeah and the third movie as I said then the apes comes to Earth somehow they have managed to to save one spaceship and flee from the planet of the apes and somehow travel back in time I mean I actually did send out a tweet no one replied to it <laughs> no but I did send out a tweet in which I said you know if if they didn't if they weren't smoking weed while writing the first two movies they must have smoked weed while writing this movie. It's basically everything, you know, they, they come back to Earth in 1971. And there's hippies everywhere. And, you know, yeah. And basically, what do they do? Well, they become, you know, monkey superstars because they can talk and no other monkeys can talk. And then, you know, this <laughs> president's first man, he's like, we need to kill them! Yeah! 
because if we let them breed, they will create the future which will get Earth destroyed. And then the president is like, but what what gives us right to alter the, the future of this universe? And he's like, I don't know yet. Really, really dramatic. But in the end, he's the bad guy, so he wants to kill the monkeys. And yeah, I won't spoil the end. <laughs> oh. But coffee is really, really good. Yeah, it is. But yeah, basically the monkeys come to present day Earth in the 70s. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done this. Um, okay. Bam. Bam. Mm -hmm. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. That's how I speak if someone asks, asks a, 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 you know, a question. What do you think about the game today? Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. That's how I speak. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they basically come to Earth in the 70s and become superstars because they can talk and they're monkeys, basically. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a really, really weird movie, but in the end, you know, if you buy the fact that it's the 70s, um, that it's, it's a little bit weird, and that it's a basically a budget movie, then it's, it's an okay movie. It's not good compared to the first one, but it's okay. It is. Yeah. Um, so that's... That's about it, I guess. It was a fun movie. Let's, let's play the third game and let's not talk about monkeys because... Or apes, because monkeys are offensive. You know, the M word. <laughs> That'll be the fucking name of this episode. The M word. Yeah, and people be like, don't you mean the N word? Then I'll be like, no, watch the fucking episode, you monkey. No, I won't say that. <laughs> but the best thing about the first movie, Plant of the Apes, is that, yeah, it, it talks about evolution versus religion, in a way. But monkeys believe that they have, you know, or monkey, you know, it, it's like religion today, basically, but vice versa. So, and, and evolution. So monkeys believe that, you know, yeah, they have arisen from humans because humans can't talk and they can so they think that you know oh before monkeys there must have been humans no monkeys and then the monkeys must have developed or developed 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 I think it is if it's genetical isn't it yeah it's evolving Pokemon <laughs> yeah mm, but basically yeah basically um, yeah they believe that that they have you know, rising from humans basically, and today, you know, most humans believe the other way around, except for the religious fanatics and all that stuff. Yeah, um, I won't talk too much about that though. I mean, people can believe what they want to. Um, it doesn't really matter in the end though, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, but that's the way it is. That's the way oh, I, I, I like it. Yeah. That's, it sounds so goddamn weird and it's starting to rain outside. That's kind of cute actually. I like it when you, you know, when you're looking at the window and you see all the raindrops start falling against it. That's kind of nice. Um, so, except for that. Yeah, I mean, they, they named the movie Plant of the Apes. That can be, you know, you, you can name it that today basically as well. So this is the Plant of the Apes that we are on now. Basically, even though the humans are in control. I mean, some might think that we are apes as well, and some might think that, you know, we behave like apes. Some might think that the apes are the true rulers. Yes. Ask a pet monkey, and that pet monkey will say, you know, yeah, we are in charge here. We just let you believe that you are in charge. At least the cats think so. <laughs> we let you believe that you are in charge, and you will give us food and everything. Basically, you are our slaves. And in a in hundred years, yeah, the cats will take over the world, so it will be plant of the cats. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yes. Um. So, hmm. But except for that, I mean, the World Cup's going on. It's it's goddamn fun to watch. And yeah, and basically, I, I named Pokemon shortly earlier. Um. I said, as I said, hmm, evolution. That's from Pokemon. Yeah, because Pokemon's evolved, sort of. Um, and yeah. Yeah! 
I've basically I've started up a little Pokemon gameplay series from Pokemon Go. So if you want to watch it, you can find it on my channel as well. I like it. If you like it, if you like Pokemon, then basically go ahead and watch it because summer for me is basically Pokemon. <laughs> to be honest, I really really like Pokemon during summertime. So that's what I basically, yeah, I, I'm playing some of it at least. Um, and that's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. I don't know what to say really, but, but you can go watch the, the series. I think episode 2 will go up today or tomorrow this, as this you know episode is published. And also, I'm recording The Sims 3 now. I moved on from The Sims 2. Someone said, you know, Hey, yo, nigga! He actually said nigga to me in a comment. I don't know, I'm not even black, I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> um, he said stop playing, you know, such faggy games or, you know, silly games as The Sims 3. Play more new Star Shock 5 instead. So I basically replied to him in a, you know, in a, in a decent way. I wasn't rude. Yeah! Fuck, I can't do those songs anymore. That's really, really odd. Yeah, but I basically replied to him. Um, but what do you think? Do, do you like The Sims 3 or is it just too much? Do you want it on my channel or not? I mean, it doesn't really matter because I like to play it anyway and I want to play more of it. But I still want, you know, I, I want critique. I want to know what you think. I want to know how, how you can help me, you know, develop my channel. Um, yeah, because, you know, it's fun to know. Basically, I'm, I'm thinking of may maybe, you know, playing some more silly football games, because, because, yeah, you like football, basically. <laughs> I mean, I get the most views on, on these videos, um, and yeah, it makes me like this game a little bit more. And also, you know, what makes me like this game is that I get some freedom, basically. Freedom to talk about whatever I want to, and that's fun. I like that. Yeah. Um, so it's a win-win situation basically. Nice goal by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. But maybe I'll try out, you know, some other football games. And then we'll see how it goes. You know, some silly sheep steam football games, I guess. Especially now when it's a steam sale. <laughs> yeah, I can try it out. Um, let's see what happens basically. Oh, come on. You silly. Um, and maybe I can boost my views even more. Yes, because... In this series, I mean, right now, I get at least a hundred views per episode, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a lot of views, actually. It's great. Thank you all. And I get almost thirty thousand views on my first new Star Trek Five episode, and I love that. I love that as well. I love everything. I love you all. <laughs> yeah, I actually do love. It. Let's see, actually, if I can, you know, get a new contract. Hey, I want a new contract. Oh, they want to give me a new contract. Let's see. Same wage, everything the same. Uh, I want to negotiate. So I basically can't get a lower wage than I have right now. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's, let's redo this one. Oh, it must be lower. Yeah, higher. Yeah, higher. Yeah, and lower. Yes. So let's see. I will basically earn almost twice as much right now. To all of you who wants me to change club, if I go to a club like, you know, Manchester United or Real Madrid or any other club, I would earn like a hundred thousand. And I don't want to earn that little. I want to, to finish this off. You know, yeah. <laughs> finish this off. No, I want to finish this game off. You know, it will still take time to do it. But I want to, you know, get closer to it. Especially now when my jet is broken down and I'm losing five million on it. Maybe it's time to sell that piece of crap. I'm, not, I'm never flying in it anyway. I don't. I don't even know how to fly. <laughs> but yeah, everything looks better. Except. Nice. Sweet. And um, basically, yeah. Most of all, thank you all for watching this episode. I don't know how it feels. I mean, normally I try to, you know, wake up a little bit more before I record episodes. But today I felt like doing it with coffee in my hand. You know, straight out of bed, basically, more or less. No, not more or less, but a little bit at least. Uh, hopefully it didn't matter too much, except for my yes being really fucked up. <laughs> Maybe you liked that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you all around the next time. Leave a like if you want to, and have a great time. Until then, goodbye.